Let us suppose you're observing as a final year medical student and a patient comes with chief complaints of multiple episodes of loose motions. Half month back, multiple blisters and hyperpigmented patches are seen on arms and legs, including the upper back. There is interference with sleep and two months orthopnea. Now, orthopnea is basically when the patient has difficulty in breathing while lying down. And that is basically relieved when he sits up or when he stoops up. Abdominal fullness is also observed in this particular patient along with limb swelling. She had history of weakness, fatigue, and low blood pressure for the past two months, followed by frequent falls. On examination, she was conscious, oriented in time, place, and person. She was ill-looking but negative for pallor and icterus. As for the vitals, blood pressure was noted to be 90 by 60 millimeters of mercury, pulse 66 beats per minute, temperature was noted 97.99 degrees Fahrenheit, respiratory rate was 22 per minute. Initial investigations yielded a normal baseline, except the TSH levels, which were 5.3 milli international units per ml. The normal range is between 0.46 to 4. The cortisol random levels were 3.7, which was again slightly at the lower side. Now, after further investigations, your senior makes a final diagnosis of Addison's disease and hypothyroidism in this case. You question yourself, what is Addison's disease? So let us discuss this condition in detail to clarify the concepts on this disease. Addison's disease is also called as adrenal insufficiency. In Addison's disease, your adrenal gland, which is located just above your kidneys, produce too little cortisol and often too little aldosterone. We all know that hormones can be imagined as soldiers recruited to perform certain tasks in your body. So basically, when they're secreted at one place, they enter the circulatory system and end up being at the target sites to perform certain duties. In case they fail to do it, it'll cause a certain clinical picture in patients due to the deficiency. So first of all, let us define this condition. Addison's disease is a primary adrenal insufficiency disorder. The basic underlying pathology is an autoimmune attack generated against the adrenal cortex. Specifically, but later I'll add some details regarding the other causes and risk factors. <laughs>